So now let's t talk about that like a website and how, if, we, if we did a website like that. Okay? The answer is no, no, no. We do not want to do a website that way. As a matter of fact, we want to do a website exactly the opposite of that. People that are shopping on websites are very, very impatient. They want it now. Okay? So I have never seen one like this, but picture, if you will, a grocery store, okay? And you're driving down the highway uh, 65 miles an hour in your car, and you call ahead on your cell phone. And uh, you call the grocery store and you say, okay, uh, I want uh, one loaf of bread and one uh, gallon of milk. Okay, as you're driving down that freeway, as you get to the grocery store, you don't even slow down. You're still going 65. You roll down the back window on your car, and they have hired some, you know, really good football player that's a good, uh, good at making passes. And he takes that bread, and he just does a pass. And as you're driving along 65 miles an hour, that milk and that bread just flies right into the back seat of your car, and you roll up your window. You don't even slow down. Okay. That's the way a website has got to operate. People are not going to be patient. They are not going to look through your website. They're not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to find things and find what they want on your website. Okay? If you go with the old grocery store model, you are going to have virtually no sales because people are not patient on the Internet. Okay? You've got to go with the new way to do it which is instant, instant, instant. You've got to have it up there, okay? So if you look at your website, you've got to be able to get from anywhere to anywhere in three clicks or less. Now, you always can't do that, but you really, really got to try to obey that three-click rule. Now, sometimes you can go deeper than that, you know, if you're into some information and you're providing content and, and those kinds of things. But, you know, if, somebody's, if you're selling something, I should be able to get to the product, and I should be able to buy it within three clicks, okay? Like I say, you can't always do it, but try to do your very best at keeping your website very, very clean, very, very fast. Make it easy for people to get to things. So go to your website, and, you know, just count how many clicks down do people have to go to get things. If you got more than three, try to think of ways to restructure your navigation so people can get there quick. you got to have that football ready to just chuck that food right into the back of their car. Okay? Commandment number four, the rule of sevens. Um, if, if you think about, a lot of research has been done on people, and if you think about it, uh, things like telephone numbers and things like that only have seven digits in them. A, a lot, according to a lot of the research that's been done, people... Um, can wrap their mind around seven things to choose from, okay? So if we look at a website, and here's a website, uh, you look at, for the menu, okay? Um, you don't want to give people more than seven things to choose from. If you look at the menu across the top of this website, you've got home, you've got sponsors, you've got tournament information, and you've got scholarship information, okay? That is four items. Right, if I can count, one, two, three, four, okay? So that's less than seven. So ever, whenever you have a navigation or a menu or things for people to choose from, never have more than seven, okay? And occasionally you'll see people go more than that, and, but sometimes you see people go whole hog crazy. I mean, they'll have like a whole list of things, you know, as long as you're armed to choose from. Again, no, 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 don't do that. Keep it simple. Keep it short. Don't have more than seven. Now, you can, there are ways to get around that because you can sort of nest things and do drop, down, uh, drop downs. So, you know, if I went over sponsors, uh, in this case, maybe the website would drop down and go sign up as a sponsor, uh, look at a list of sponsors, uh, you know, the cost of being a sponsor. You could have a drop down menu. And, and then within that drop down menu, you would not have, want to have more than seven items for them to choose from, okay? So people are choosing from seven items, only seven items at a time, okay? So that is the rule of sevens. Okay, now let's look at an example of one. Now if you look at this page, 
Um, you can see we've got some navigation down the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, and there's more than seven there, uh, and it goes on and on down the page. Now, the, instead of dividing it up, they've sort of tried to break it up a little bit by putting the items underneath, uh, you know, and, and, and kind of doing them so that you can see which items are underneath the other one, but you still, your brain doesn't work around that too well. It's better than just a huge list, but um, you it would be better off, you know, to have this as a drop down or as another menu so you'd click on one of these items and then the other one would pop it up. So you only have the seven choices at a time, okay? And you can do that pretty easily, and it works really, really effectively. And it simplifies the page, and it will help people to uh, stay with your site, not get frustrated, and leave. So the rule of sevens, okay? Here's a real nasty example, okay? They've got m way more than seven items, and they've got them in all different sizes and boldness. And, I mean, wow. All I can say is, wow, okay? Uh, don't do this. Seven, the rule of sevens. Okay, only give people seven options at a time. Okay, here's another page on that same website. On this particular page, how many options do I have in front of me all at once? Oh my, way more than seven. Becomes confusing, it becomes daunting, and it turns people off. They will go somewhere else where they can be relaxed, they can enjoy themselves, and not be handed with so many choices all at once. And, and there are ways that you can get more on a page. You can break things up a little easier and you can put different colors. You know, they, they've helped themselves. If this was all white background, it would be way worse because you wouldn't be able to differentiate it into groupings or sections. Uh, so, but at least try to make clear where the seven choices are. Uh, okay, choose here from seven items. Choose here from seven items. Break it up and don't go more than seven. Okay, so now let's look at commandment number five. With commandment number five, uh, it is aim low. You know, I don't know if any of you are hunters or shooters, but it seems like, you know, we're always supposed to aim high. Uh, seems like that's the, somebody's, uh, um, like their slogan or something, aim high. And so in this case, we're telling you to aim low, aim low. Okay, if you think about uh, all of your different customers out there and all the different people uh, that are on your computer system or that are on your website or looking at your website to buy your products or look at your services or whatever you're doing, okay, that's going to be a wide variety of people. And uh, you're going to have all kinds of people coming into that website. And so you want to build your website to be able to accommodate any buddy that comes into your website, no matter their age, no matter what, you know, what they are. And one of the things that's critically important is the computer systems that those people are using to access your website. Okay, and so one of the things that we do is we monitor what, what, uh, what their screen resolutions are and, and those, how, what their connection speeds are and those kinds of things to make sure that your website will work with the lowest common denominator, okay? You, want, you don't want to start excluding people off because they don't have the latest, greatest computer system, okay? If you've got, you know, this great, big, fast computer with a huge screen and a great, big uh, fiber optic internet connection and you make your website incredibly wonderful and has all the bills and whistles and, you know, it's just gorgeous, uh, when, you know, somebody comes along and runs it on an old computer with an old monitor with a low resolution and a slow connection, it is just not going to work. Now, years ago, that was a problem because there were a lot of old computers out there. And we've kinda, we kind of monitor, especially resolutions and things, at what you should build your screens at. And so for years, we told everybody, you know, build at 640 by 480. Then we told them to go up to 800 resolution. And uh, now we're telling people to, you know, go ahead uh, up to 1024, build your websites for 1024 because there are just not many people that have lower than that now. Um, but, uh, and, and so it's, it's way better than it was. Uh, years ago when people had the slow internet connections, we really discouraged people from using a lot of big graphics and 
flash and videos and all those kind of things because there just wasn't the internet connections to support it. Uh, I was in a meeting one day and uh, I was talking with a, a guy who raised his hand and he, he, say, he said, oh yeah, we've got a, oh, a fantastic website. This was years ago. And uh, I said, oh, okay. He said, we, we went out and we hired this big graphics firm and, and we paid them $10,000 to build us, you know, the most gorgeous site out there. It's just a beautiful site. And uh, I said, oh, okay, let's pull it up so everyone can see it. And so he gave me the URL, and so I clicked on it, typed it in, and I clicked on it, and my computer spun, and it spun, and it spun, trying to download all of the information on that page. Now, at that particular demonstration, uh, I was connected to a T1. Now, a T1 is uh, a, 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 bi a business-grade line better than probably the best line you can get in your home uh, by far, okay? And back in those days, very few people had DSL wasn't all that popular yet. And so most people's computers weren't even in the same league with that T1 that I was on. And that was causing my computer to choke because of all the graphics and stuff that were on that website. Well, I sat there and I did a little math on the board and just a little rough figuring. And I, I came up with, uh, based on the time that it took my computer to download it, I calculated out... Uh, how long it would take on a on a computer that most people had and it was like 20 minutes it would take 20 minutes to download that page well who on this planet is going to sit there and wait for 20 minutes for a web page to load and then when they go to the next page on that website wait for another 20 minutes okay and i asked the guy I says i said this is a gorgeous website i says how's your traffic and he says, well, you know, it's funny that you should say that because we just don't get, we just haven't got anybody looking at our website at all. And I'm going like, well, that's pretty amazing. You know, people are not going to wait for 20 minutes for it to get there. Now, times have changed since then, and uh, most people have a good Internet connection. And so we're not seeing those kinds of problems like we did any, anymore. And so it's, so up until recently, it has not been, a huge issue, okay? But you know, things in the world have a tendency to kind of circle around and come back to us.